YouTube, this is Deadly Laugh coming at you with another episode of The Ultimate Guide to City Skylines. Now, this is taken from my stream, so there'll be some interactions. You'll hear stuff in the background, usually my kids or lullaby, since it's the only time I have to stream that night when they're going to bed. So just, uh, you know, disregard that and just enjoy the gameplay. Hope you learned something. Uh, make sure you hit that subscribe button, turn that bell on. If you want to, drop down in the comments. And uh, let me know what you think about this video. If you like it, give me a thumbs up. Um, and also, link in the description for my Twitch channel. I will see you guys in the rest of the video. Have a good one. Hey there, YouTube. Welcome to another episode of Ultimate Guide to City Skylines. I'm your host, Daily Laugh. And on this episode, we're going to be talking about our services, uh, how to make sure they're running efficiently, uh, where to place them, and all that good stuff. So, let's d jump right in. So, uh, right here, the first service that you ever get after you start with your water and electrical is your garbage. So, you'll you start with this landfill, and you'll want to place it down. Eventually, you'll be able to upgrade to the incineration plant. If you get DLCs, you'll have some other options. But these are the first two that you have in vanilla. So, that's what we're going to be looking at. Uh, as you can see, I've actually already upgraded a lot of these to incineration plants. Um, and you can see the coverage by the green. You start seeing a darker green when it starts getting outside that coverage zone. Um, but we'll go over all of that here shortly. So if you're looking at here, this just like all the other tabs, it'll tell you um, your status, you know, your production per week, process capacity per week. So we're actually, you know, we're really, we're really got two, a whole lot of extra capacity. Um, but sometimes what you'll find is depending on your road system and your traffic, that can really throw a kink into a lot of things. Um, really, if I wanted to do it really well, I would take one of these uh, from over here. And probably just like move it over here in the corner or something and add a, a dirt road connecting to, to really help. Um, by the way, the city does look a lot different than the last video uh, just because I've been upgrading, getting stuff in place to talk through other videos like this one. So I'm going to swing over here where I've moved a lot of my industry. So I have one here uh, and you can see that this one covers a whole lot of space. I mean, even out to over here. But then you come over here you see the one right here even though I've got this nice like loop and everything because the length these trucks have to travel all the way around if you know you start seeing that dark green right over here if I was to put a road up through here probably in this area it's not going to be as nice green as as these other areas um, just because of the road structure so you know these one ways are good to control the industry traffic but the services it kind of kind of hinders a little bit so you'll have to use more if you're going to do something like that where over here because I've got a lot of two ways, you know, a lot of big avenues and side streets. Uh, it's going to be pretty easy uh, for people to get through. Um, the only, once your landfill fills up, the only way you can remove it so you stop that pollution is you have to empty it. Uh, I don't have one, or I'd show you what I mean. But that's where the incineration plants come in. So they will also go out and collect garbage and then burn it to create a little bit of electricity. Not a whole lot, but it will supplement and help out your... Uh, electrical needs um, but I usually will put an incineration plant right by a landfill so now on the landfill I can click it and say hey empty landfill once it's empty you'll see like this green little circle loading type thing over um, over its head and then that means it's empty and you can delete it and get rid of that nasty landfill uh, you know once we get into the other DLCs we'll be replacing the incinerations with some greener nicer things uh, but that's it for the first industry or the first service the next two you give them at different times is your death care and your health care so medical clinic and hospital um, I should also mention this is the same with uh, incineration plants incineration plants have a little bit farther range uh, and hospitals have a much greater range than the clinic so you can see these clinics are dotted around dispersed out throughout the city um, you know starting to get a little darker green over there uh, don't have any clinics over here, but th nobody's complained about being sick over here, so I haven't really in industry, so I haven't really put any over there. It is possible, uh, but I usually wait till they they start complaining. Um, oh, here's the perfect. So this green sign right here will tell you if well that is really loud. Let's not zoom in that much. <clears throat> will tell you if the uh, this is a cemetery, but if the uh, dump or cemetery is empty, 
they will give you this sign right here. So I'm going to delete that because that takes up a lot of room. I'm going to throw a crematorium down. Now, don't worry. All of this is uh, to preference. So like if you are going for like a, a real natural uh, looking city, uh, by all means, leave the landfills, leave the cemeteries. Um, but I'm going for a, a huge, dense city. Uh, so I'm going to be using as every square I can, basically. <clears throat> but uh, if, I want to see if I can place it somewhere. Space already occupied. So watch this. So as soon as I hit the road, like I'm going to place it, like you can see the hospital comes all the way down here. Like this covers a huge area by itself. And really... What I'm looking at with the health, I mean, my health is fine. My average health is 80%. I don't necessarily need it, but I could probably put it there because I'm going to be expanding and it just, you know, help in time. What you've got to look for is make sure you can afford the upfront cost and then your weekly. Uh, so my weekly right now is 9,000. Uh, I can throw that in no problem if I wanted to. Look at the medical clinic, it's only 400. And you see its coverage, I mean, it covers everything that. Is currently dark you know so it's just kind of you know personal preference um, what I'm probably gonna do for now is throw a uh, medical clinic in because I'm about to um, change up this area a little bit with the highways and stuff and since this is already gridded off and make this my downtown for a future video um, <clears throat> I don't really want to put a, a hospital up there I'll, I'll put it down here and move one of these these clinics over to a different part of town so for now I'm just gonna plop that down right there Fire. Fire is really easy because where there's no coverage, everything's red. It means it can catch on fire. If you got the disasters DLC, you get these uh, fire wash towers that you can place out. You know, if you've got a separate, oh, like over here, like I have this whole area is uh, is going to be a forestry in, uh, industrial complex. So I can place this one tower right here, and it'll cover pretty much the whole area. Um, and then I just, you know, couple that with a fire helicopter, and I don't have to worry about placing down firehouses. Or a fire station. Um, so again, look. At, we have a good example here. Um, the, this office space. So if I put in this firehouse, you can see how much it covers. If I put in the fire station, you can see it goes all the way up to there, um, which is something I want to do. So I'm going to plot that down. Even though it's more, um, I think it's worth it. Police. Police is the same way. Um, you know, if you really want to, you can uh, throw in a, a police helicopter um, to help things out. And then if you are, like, see, I'm having some problems with jails available. I probably need to look for a place to put a prison uh, to keep them all, um, which probably out here off of one of these farm rows is probably be good. Um, <clears throat> but I can do that later. But I do need some more over here. So that looks like it's a pretty good place. Um, see, they're complaining, so this means that they need some crime rates high over here. So what I'm just going to do is I'm just going to plop down a big old police station there. Last is education. This is a little bit more difficult because you've got three layers. Uh, so you can see... My elementary school's in the yellow. I probably need to add another one. Um, but these are spaced pretty pretty well. Let's like move one here down to here and then place another one up there. I don't know, something like that. But this fluctuates, unlike all the other ones, because as people get educated, you know, you're simulating people. So kids grow up, go through. I've actually sat here and watched this number go up and down. Um, high schools. You know, right on the brink. Universities. It's going to be a while before I need a, n a new one of those. Um, but let's look at elementary. Elementary is pretty low, so I'm gonna I'm gonna put that in uh, right there. I'm gonna, I'm gonna move. No, that's pre that's pretty good where it's at. I'll just leave that there. That will be fine. <clears throat> and then parks they're not really a service but they, they they sort of are because they make land value go up um and that's always nice uh, i have some kind of go-to parks i like to place down that aren't too big really help the land value um so some tricks that will help you know 
conserve money is the way you budget. Uh, you can go ahead and move that up. So I try to keep my garbage, health, fire, police, education, and parks maxed out um, because that means their coverage area is going to be farther, um, which means in the end I need less. So let's go with these clinics. So because these are all maxed out, like I have them spaced fairly far apart. Uh, before I started doing this, I'd have to have like another one here, then maybe one here, and then one here on top of these four I already have. So I mean, if you look at you know, that's three extra medical clinics, that's an extra twelve hundred dollars a month. And then if you look at if you move that slider and run it, that's it's not gonna be the same, you know. And so I I've at least noticed that it is more efficient to and better money wise to have it all the way up. Uh, let's see. And so that covers all the services. Uh, unique buildings which come in through various DLCs and accomplishments. Uh, they follow the same thing. You they run more efficient, have a broader reach, the more budget you use. Um, but that is how I place my services. That helps me be more efficient and grow really fast. I mean, I think this city I barely have an hour or so into, and this thing is already like 20,000 people, $1.7 million, 10K a week almost. So, I mean, it's, it's, working, it's going pretty good. Um, I'm not having to have too many uh, services and, and cost me budget or space on the board. Uh, anyways, that is it for the services of uh, City Skylines and how to make them more efficient and how to place them. Stay tuned for the next episode. And this has been Daily Laugh. I hope you all have a fantastic day. See ya!